Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is going to be the first day when we're going to be working in this amazing 1989 Mercedes 300E in a W124 chassis. I have to do so much work to this car to make it again, uh, amazing again. I have to do a bunch of cleanup in the engine bay. Uh, I cleaned it up a little bit, not too much, but there's a bunch of leaves that we have to take care of and clean up right here. So that's going to be my task for today. And I might actually like just do like a partial disassembly of the wiper and uh you know I lubricate it i want to take the battery out and clean up everything here and then later on we're going to start working on the suspension have to replace the strut mounts have to do a bunch of other work to this car but this is the task for today is i want to you know replace or take everything out right there all the plastics and clean everything up because there's actually the drain where the blower motor area is i want to make sure that drain is good all right guys here's the battery i took it out and i got a I don't know what this is. Looks like some kind of mat right there for the battery protection, which is interesting. So I'll take that out. As you can see, there's a bunch of leaves that I have to take care of and clean up. So everything's gonna be coming out and also this wiper cowl so I can start taking it out actually. So much garbage here and definitely have to take everything out and clean it. So much garbage here. Lots of garbage here and trash. I'm gonna clean all this up. Same thing right here. Already cleaned some of it. So on the early 124s, it's a little bit tricky to remove this because first you have to remove this cover and then you remove these four uh, screws. And there's a seal but then you also remove, need to remove these plastic screws one two three and then four and then this piece actually drops down first because there's wiring harness going through it so you have to drop this piece down and then after that you'll be able to take this whole assembly out a lot easier so as you can see this dropped down and now you can carefully remove that harness right there both of them and then take this whole piece out so I decided to just keep this down here, this piece, and then you can go ahead and lift this guy. All these parts are going to be getting power washed, cleaned up nicely, and everything. I'm going to make this machine amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and carefully start removing the rest of this assembly. Alright, so with these seals, they're actually still nice and pliable. Uh, I didn't want to disturb them, so what I did is, to get to the bottom screws of these plastics, I just kind of lifted it up right here carefully and removed the screws. Okay, now I can remove these plastic pieces from the side carefully. Oh, this one I had to take it off because it was a pain to get to these screws. That gives me an opportunity to clean everything. I'll probably remove the other side too. So after you're done working on left and right side, you're ready to pull this guy out. Just lift up on it and then carefully wiggle it out. All right, so. These are all the plastic parts I removed. So far, this is what everything looks like. So much garbage here. I'm gonna be cleaning everything out and I'll take out the wiper assembly too. And uh, I'll probably take it apart and lubricate it. And I wanna get to that blower motor, check on that, see how much brush, how much uh, brush material it has left and all that. And I'll be cleaning all this stuff out. What's crazy about this car is it has original windshield still on the car. Take a look at this. This is crazy. And this is still the original windshield to this car. This is amazing. Now another thing that I had to get is these uh, washer nozzles because the ones that are on it are not from this car and they're literally annoying. They're not spraying good at all. 
can see they're not from this car at all. Super ugly. So I'm going to be installing these original ones. This is what was installed. Some aftermarket garbage. Uh, nozzles that did not even fit properly. I don't understand like how hard it is just to get original stuff. You know. I don't understand people. Bad bugs. Bad bugs. I usually don't do that to bugs, but to these aftermarket trash ass nozzles I do. Also, I'm gonna be taking out this um blower motor. I gotta clean everything here and check the blower motor, probably lubricate the bearings in it. We'll see. Everything's getting cleaned up on this car. All right, I'm gonna be installing, installing the left side. Put some grease right there just in case. And I'm gonna install this left side nozzle. Just so have to take your time, be careful so it doesn't crack or anything. All right, I installed that side. Now I'm gonna install this one. I'm just gonna put grease right here. So, you know, just, Nothing's gonna happen, it's just gonna be for rust preservation, protection. And that's it. I'm gonna install this bad boy. On this side. Just very careful, go like that, there you go, easy. I'll finish connecting the rest right there. So, both nozzles are installed. Uh, but I'm gonna check them for leaks and anything else after I install the batteries. That's gonna be later. And these nozzles are actually from a newer Mercedes, so um, from a newer W124. Uh, so these heaters for the washer fluid, they're, I'm just gonna leave them disconnected. That's not a huge deal, as long as you know people use uh, washer fluid. That's for the winter. It's gonna be fine. It's not gonna freeze. But everything else is reattached, reinstalled amazing and good to go looks a hundred times better than those stupid aftermarket ones also started cleaning the interior shampooed all these uh carpets and they're drying up right now this one is really wet still so i'm just gonna let it air dry for a while it's gonna be really wild because uh it's kind of cold here in Washington a little bit. So, but yeah, other than that, just started cleaning everything here. The engine bay is looking much, much better now, especially this side. So, I'm gonna keep on going. Let me know when Hold on, so we're gonna test this blower right here. Good. Uh, yeah, Grandpa, go. Woo! All right, keep, uh, keep it on there a little bit longer. Nice, release. Sweet, she's good, she's alive. So this is the tool that I made because there's a screw right there that holds this assembly. I have to remove that assembly first. This is gonna be a bit of a pain, but that's the tool I have to use to remove those screws, one on each side. It's hidden like right underneath there, so. All right, guys, so what I decided to do is I'm just going to leave this thing as is. Uh, I was able to remove that screw from this uh, from that side, but this one is like really deep in there. So you would really like like it's a pain, really, mainly because of this retainer right here. But I decided I'm just going to leave it as is because this part right here just seems like it's glued on. It's part of this whole heater assembly. So I don't want to like break anything at all. And I'm going to clean everything around as best as I can. I'm going to clean everything right there really, really thoroughly, okay? So it's going to be really nice. At the end, I'm going to make sure that those two drains down there under the heater box are good and not clogged. So another thing is this is an early model, so it doesn't have the cabin air filter. So that's why everything right here gets clogged up. So be careful where you park your car, you know, make sure you're keeping everything clean. But... This is what I have to do. I have to stay here and just scrub everything right here. See how much dirt there is. It's insane. It's so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down there. Make sure those, uh... Oh, you can hear it. It's draining. It's 
just really under the box right there and it's working so i'm gonna keep working on that i already cleaned a bunch right here it's looking a lot cleaner i'm gonna keep on doing that i want to make it as amazing as possible again all right so i spent about an hour over an hour cleaning everything here making it nice and also that radiator right there i've been cleaning that a lot to the best of my ability clean some stuff right here on top too and this recirculation door unfortunately i can't open it right now um and i don't want to force it open but um also i'm still having i still have to clean that those drains a little more i'm just gonna run water through it make sure they're all like clear a hundred percent and then we'll start slowly but surely we'll start putting everything back together all right so here's the what it looks like right now okay all the seals everything reconnected just have to fix this seal really quick like so all the clips are back everything that's been taken off is back and nobody has ever been in this area so i'm super happy because i don't like when somebody is in here and they don't put stuff back together properly or the bolts or screws are missing i really hate that so much so everything all the screws all the hardware everything is back and i'm gonna be ready to install the blower motor here in a second so i just added automatic trans fluid inside that bearing and i'm gonna move this uh the wheels around both sides and that way the automatic trans fluid can just get in there and lubricate the bearing all right guys everything is reconnected i reinstalled the blower motor and all that good idea to check it right now so turn the ignition on and make sure you know turn on your climate control and see if this is spinning also before you do that make sure that you spin it by hand and it's not it's not hitting like the side wall or whatever else that's really important okay make sure that it's not like there's that there's clearance that you have to make sure and other than that everything is good ready to go everything is reconnected really nice and i'm ready to install this cleaned up lid it's just gonna go really easily like that and there's just some several clips that go all the way around Ooh, crazy also checking resistor resistors working as it should so slower speed like that amazing all right guys now since i've checked everything i can go ahead disconnect my jumper and I can start installing everything back that lid on top of the heater or the blower motor and all that now we can go ahead and start cleaning this area we already installed the cover on top so awesome i'm just gonna clean up those drains a little more it's draining as you heard it so now here's the wiper mono wiper assembly what I noticed is this thing was loose all the time when I was driving back from Nevada. <laughs> Crazy. So I have to tighten this up and then I'm going to open it up a little bit and I'm going to try to lubricate everything here um, as much as I can before I install it on the car. I'm also going to be replacing the vacuum lines everywhere, the hoses, because as you can see, this one is super cracked up. So I'll be changing those 
of genuine Mercedes vacuum hose. It's like a one meter vacuum hose and I'll be cutting it to length and replacing all of them in the engine compartment. All right, I replaced this vacuum hose and that one. This one is still okay. However, it's a good idea to replace it. I don't have it on me. I might order it, we'll see. But, you know, it's still fine. I checked it for cracks. There's no cracks, but like I said, it's a good idea to change all of the rubber vacuum uh, hoses in the engine compartment. Very, very good idea. And that's what I'll be doing. I have this one meter of vacuum hose and I'll be doing that to the rest of the hoses I see. All right, so I installed the wiper assembly and now I'll be installing this cowl, part of the cowl, wiper cowl, and uh, cleaned it all up. Okay, so this is installed. And now I'm gonna attach all the hardware on it and then I'm gonna install this piece. It's gonna go down there, okay? It's gonna be a bit of a pain. All the tools are falling. And uh, yeah, and that slowly but surely coming back together. All right, guys, I'm ready to install these seals and I fluid filmed this part right there. This part is already back in, as you can see, all nice and everything. And I'm just getting ready to install the rest of these parts. All right, same thing with this. Made it all nice and clean here and right there, as you can see, put some fluid film, some good stuff. What's crazy to think is that these seals are still pliable and everything and they're not hard. And this car was literally like probably in Nevada most of its life where it's super hot and everything. But right now, I mean, I'm just, I'm just so amazed of amazing quality and engineering of these cars all right so i extended the wiper assembly so meaning turn the key on and then stop it about here and then i put added a bunch of grease to the shaft and uh, now finally i torqued this so this is not moving that loose anymore and i can put this cover back on and we're going to retest this i'm almost done putting everything back together here guys Everything is amazing, awesome, amazing job. And these are also awesome. So we're gonna test those out. All right, so I started cleaning some rust right there, just little surface rust. I just want to take care of that. And I put a bunch of fluid film right there. And we're almost done with this wiper cowl stuff. So um, next thing, the last step as far as this job is I have to, you know, clean all the rust right here off of this battery tray, repaint it. And then all this whole, this entire area will be getting coated in fluid film and uh, bearing grease. So it will never ever rust out again. All right, so that area is also all touched up. I'm waiting for the paint to dry. I zip tied this hose off to the side a little bit. And yeah, I'm just trying to make this area all amazing and good and preserved. And then we're gonna be done with that. I already started preserving the area with wheel bearing grease. All right, so everything is preserved here. Now I can install the battery tray. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's probably gonna be a lengthy video. I don't know yet, but that's a big, huge step forward into the restoration of this amazing Mercedes W124. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.